Hi and thank you once again for joining me. Today I will be unboxing this product. It's a product basically designed around the iPod. This is a vacuum tube amplifier. It's an old discontinued product. I bought it off of eBay a long time ago and I've never actually opened it. You know? So um, today I will have the opportunity to unbox and even test whether this device actually works. So, um, the uh, main selling point of this uh, device is that one, it's a vacuum tube amplifier and two, this also comes with the iPod dock, the 30 pin iPod dock. Uh, this was obviously released during the height of the iPod uh, era, you know, the peak of the iPod era. This whole unit weighs about 13 kilograms. Okay, so um, you can see if I turn this around here. You can see the specification. So we're going to try and unbox it and see how it does. Okay, just flipping it over, just being a little careful. This is very heavy. You can see it's labeled here. Okay, let me try to just take it out. Uh, they're very snug, so I might have to push it from the from underneath. Yeah. So this is the this is the docking station or the iPod dock. Okay, I'll keep it aside over here. Then you got yourself this noise easy. You got yourself the speakers. Set it aside. And last but not the least. The amplifier. I'll take this box aside. I will definitely need it for transportation in the future. All right now, conscious of the amplifier. The dock, which is pretty light, and the speakers, which is on the heavier side. All right, so let me just switch the view so we can view it from the top. Be right back. What shall we start with first? Uh, we'll start with the speaker, okay? All right, so I'll just move the fire here. And by the way, the speaker comes over here. So these are the speakers, they look really beautiful. Okay. And um, now I will just set this here. These corners here. Bring on the uh, dock for the iPod. The 
milk is pretty light actually. Comes with the remote. Okay. This is for the video. Because the iPod is capable of playing video, I believe. At least it used to to an update on Apple. This is the uh, let's see. Power supply. That's good. This is capable of 100, and 100 to 240 volt. So I don't need to worry about any switching, any voltage step down and transformer. Okay, so this is the iPod dock. Very shiny. You got the uh, audio left, right channel out, video out, and S video out. 12 volt, 500 milliamp. Okay, it's pretty light, and uh, it's pretty classy. So I'll keep this aside. Provided glass for this. Owner's manual. Power cable. some cables here um, okay, banana plugs here Five mm two RCA cable. Okay. There are two of them. No, this is uh, three point five mm two RCA, and this is RCA two RCA. So two two versions. Okay. Let's move all these cables 
sur ça. All these items are very glossy. The piano, I mean, it's piano black and it's glossy. So, oh, it looks beautiful. All right, folks, I have these gloves on just to prevent smudging on this because it's very glossy material and silver and all the sweat, etc. You know, okay, so as you can see here. Okay, this is a protected area. I, you can definitely remove this one because you, you might, you'll need to change the vacuum tubes inside, right? Okay, so um, this is protected. This is the front portion of the amplifier. As you can see, you've got the uh, on-off switch. Then you're, you've got the headphone jack on so you can connect your headphones directly. This, there's some kind of... Uh, I don't know, some kind of, uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, this is line one, line two. So basically you can have two inputs into this device. That is really cool, you know? And then uh, this is the volume control, sonic integrity, okay? So um, if you look at the back, really careful. If you look at the back, you have two inputs, line one, line two, left and right, left and right and one right speaker, left speaker, then power, and this one. All right, folks, the uh, setup is complete. The testing is done, and it's a success. So I'm pretty happy. The uh, device is working ex very well, in spite of being stored away for a very long time. Okay. So how it works is, uh, like I told you before, line one, I've set it up for the iPod dock, and line two, I set it up for the Bluetooth Bose adapter. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on line one. Okay, and uh, switch on the uh, iPod dock station using the remote. Okay, the song was playing anyways in the back. So uh, you can do volume control, up, increase, decrease the treble, bass. In fact, you can go into the menu and you can sc scroll through the menu. You can literally do everything on this. Okay, go back to the menu one, st one step again. Okay. Play. Switch, I will switch off the uh, iPod dock, okay, and now switching to line 2, where it is connected to my uh, Bluetooth Bose adapter, audio adapter. Okay, so uh, I've got my phone here, okay, which is already paired to the Bose Bluetooth. So I'm going to just play an audio, uh, just a, vo a voice note, which I just created for the purpose of this video. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. My smartphone is connected to the Bose Bluetooth adapter, which in turn is connected to the Sonic Integrity vacuum tube amplifier. So as you can see, it is working well through line two. And then I've also tested the uh, headphone jack here. It's working fine, no problem. So all in all, 
an amazing device, beautiful device, vintage device now, you can call it. Okay, because vacuum tube, etc. So it's like pretty eye-catching as well. So that's it, folks, for this uh, particular video. I hope you enjoyed it. I, f I hope you found it informative, entertaining, and uh, it was. I, I hope it made you happy. Okay. If you do, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Okay. And hopefully, more videos will be coming out soon. Thank you once again, and you have a wonderful day. Bye for now.